I'm Nicholas Bloom. I'm Professor of Economics at Stanford University in California. So I work on two topics, both of which I use Aberdeen data for. So one of them is been looking at management practices. So we've been working with uh, Harvard, LSE, and also McKinsey and uh, Accenture to try and measure management practices across firms, organizations, and countries and see how well that explains firm performance and also how that links to IT use. So we find that, you know, as, as is maybe not that surprising, well-managed firms are more productive, they're growing faster, they're more profitable. They're less likely to go bankrupt. They also seem to be more IT intensive and they use their hardware and their software more effectively. So that's one topic. And then the other topic um, is inequality, which this is a big uh, policy issue right now. And people worry that inequality is being driven by computerization. You know, college educated people have done very well. They've earned a lot of money out of it, but the less educated have suffered. And again, we use the Aberdeen data to measure computerization. So, you know. What I have here is a map of uh, computer intensity across the US using all of Aberdeen's data. And you can see out on the West Coast where we're sitting now, very high computer intensity, very high wealth levels uh, in the East Coast around Texas, around Colorado, but certain other parts of the country seem to be lower tech and they've suffered recently and they've suffered with worse inequality. But Aberdeen is really the, the, the richest data set, has the best information, uh, is very accurate. We did some cross-checking actually in some other work I've been doing, phoning up firms to collect management practice data for them. And we interviewed them and at the end would ask them some information about how many employees in the firm, revenue, and very basic IT data and cross-checked and it matched up very well. You know, to be honest, you guys have the best data. Uh, I don't really know anyone else that has a similar data set. So my experience is the Aberdeen data is incredibly accurate and also has incredibly broad coverage. It drives uh, media. So in fact, today, this morning, in fact, I had two, I spoke to some of Harvard Business Review that early this morning from the Wall Street Journal later in the morning about my research on management practices. It also drives policy. So last week I was in the White House, went to visit the Council of Economic Advisors, talked about inequality, how we measure it, what's driving it. There's a, you know, there was discussion about computerization, how we measure it, and you know, mentioned the Aberdeen data. So that's why it's incredibly valuable. It's A, you know, massively rich and detailed, very accurate, but B, for us, goes back a long time. So you can see these trends evolving. So you have great data over many decades. And in fact, you know, the interesting thing is I work with the US Census Bureau as well. So I've done a lot of work with the Census Bureau, and they've been the national data collection agency for decades. And they've never really collected good IT data. So in fact, this is you know, the, be the best American data on our IT. If you want to get a picture going back over decades, it really is the Aberdeen data. I've used those data sets for several papers, several you know, very well cited and well covered papers that have been in you know, the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal and The Economist and CNN have covered these works. So it's had you know, wide and uh, broad spread, very useful uh, impact. Aberdeen seem to go the extra mile by phoning up, you know, every day, day after day, week after week, to make sure they really get a big range of feedback. And that, that turns out to be invaluable. If you actually want to know what's going out there with a typical firm, and most firms, rather than just the few that answer the phone.